Finny, please. How is Finny? Just not, how is Finny not a real character? We'll get into that book later, but hello you guys, welcome back to Nerd. In today's video, we are going to be doing our March, nope, it's March now, our February and January TBR. So, not TBR, reading wrap up. All right, we're doing our January and February reading wrap up. And I read six books in these months. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first book I read was The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. This book is, okay, so this book could be the third in the Throne of Glass series, I believe, or the first. I read it as the first book in the Throne of Glass series, and I'm right now currently reading Throne of Glass, and I think how I did that was really well because you get background information. You're already connected to Selena and her past. You already know and you're already introduced to her past when she talks about somebody in particular. You know basically the past and stuff like that, and you kind of want to cry. But this book i would like i said i'm definitely there and then how this book ends it kind of goes kind of like a year later ish it just kind of like straight up picks up into thunder glass so i do definitely recommend reading it the first book of the series all right so the rating i gave this was a 3.5 i really did enjoy this um and i thought it was really really good and right now i'm like halfway through throne of glass and i still think that i love that book so I'll definitely keep on reading the entire series, and I do want to read way more Sarah. I do want to read some more Sarah J. Mass books. The next book I read was Keeper Lost Cities Nightfall, Nightfall by Susan Messenger. I said it wrong. Wait, is it? Oh, it's Shauna. Wait. Susan or Shauna? Shauna. I don't know. However, by this author, I said it wrong because I did a book talk on flashback and I said the author's name wrong. Sure. Oops. And my friend was like, he said it wrong. Anyway, so I read Nightfall. This book is, like I said, it's a continuation. This is book six in Keeper Lost City series. And this book is my favorite out of the series. The, I gave this book four stars. So, like I said, this just continues off with the Keeper Lost City series. If you have no clue what the Keeper Lost City series is, it's just a girl. It just follows a girl named Sophie who gets told she's an elf. And that's seriously what it is. It's just like a Harry Potter retelling, just way more books. Sure. That's seriously all what it is. I mean, I thought this book was good in the series, so... I do have to say, in my opinion, so many of these books, like this book kind of does need to be this long, but the other books just don't need to be this long. I'm sorry. All right, so I do not have a physical copy of this book, but I read this like for school. I read Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Carey. Canary. Okay, anytime I say Stefan, I think of Stephen Curry. So I think it's Canary. I don't know. I don't know. All that I'm going to say is I didn't like the book. I actually have no clue what it's about. Like, I was so confused reading it because it's about, I, I know it's about soldiers and like a battle, but like they're, they're in a battle, but they're not. So that, I don't know. I'm so confused. So I gave it a one star. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you like this book. I didn't care for it. I also am going to say I've noticed since reading old, older-ish books in school that I don't like those books. So, yeah, I don't really care for those books. I don't really just, I just don't like those books. Okay, the next book I read, this was also another school book was To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I'm gonna say something is this. I did not like it at all. So the next book I read was Keeper Lost City's Flashback. I'm gonna say this. This book was really boring. I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you something. Right as I hit halfway mark, I have absolutely no clue what I read. Like, I'm reading the eighth book. When I was reading for Ish, okay, how do I explain this? I'm somewhat going through the eighth book. It's just so difficult. 
I'm reading the eighth book currently and stuff has happened and I don't remember that happening in here. Sir, I, I, all what I have to say is I do not remember this book at all. Like, I don't. Like, I do not remember what happened at the end of this book. Like, I remember the main point of it, but I just don't remember what else happened. It's like I was, it was so, all I'm going to say is the whole entire book is Sophie and Fitz in the healing set. That's it. That's all where this book takes place. But this book could have easily been a 300 page book. It shouldn't have been a, wait, how long is this book? <clears throat> Sorry. This book is 845 pages. That is, I don't think this book should be that long. Again, like I said, it should have been cut down. Like, I don't know, 500 pages. Like, it should have been a 300 page book. Not a five. Again, I don't think it was necessary because all it was was Sophie and Healing Center. And they did not, like, nothing happened in this book. Nothing did. And to be honest with you, the way that this book leaves off and going into the eighth book, it's like, I'm going to say this. The first four in this book aren't good. Like, aren't that good. Like, I, so here's, the, my rating is a two star in this book. I didn't like it. I gave it a two star. So, like I said, the first four books in the series are, like, not really that good. But then you get to book five and six to where they're good and they're four stars. Then you get to seven, eight, I don't even know about nine. And all what it is is just boring. Just, it's so boring to say the least. To, just to say the least, it is just so boring. So what I have to say. Okay, the next book, and our last book we read in these two months was, I'm so excited because I loved it so much. Okay, if you can't tell. If he had been with, no, not this. If only I told her by Lauren Allen. This is a sequel to if he'd been with me and can I just say something it wasn't what I expected but it was so good and I'm gonna say this I really was in a book hangover like I could not stop thinking about this book for so long like I actually I, I finished it and then three days after I finished it I reread it again and I annotated it I I love it I love it my sister won a crown again Okay. This book's a five star. It's like this book isn't just five star. This is like a six star, ten star book. It is that good. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, so so much. And can I just say, I loved. It. I loved it. Like I think this is going to be my favorite book of this year. Like no book has made me feel this way. Like I truly was in a book, and I'm still in a book hangover. I love this. I, I'm just gonna say, and I'm just gonna say this. I have never had this experience with any other book, but how, like, when I'm just going, like, how, I don't, the fact that these characters just aren't real, the fact that Finny isn't real, like, the fact that Phil, Finny was never real in real life. Like, I could never go and say, oh, I'm going to, I want to go to, I'm going to drive to Finney's grave and see him and talk to him. Blah, blah. I can't do that. Like, the fact that I felt like, <sighs> the fact that I felt like Autumn, that I, when I was reading this book, that I felt like I was like going to Friends of Autumn's and just like going through this heartbreak with her and Autumn isn't real, Finney isn't real. Jack isn't how are these people just how like how are they not real like seriously how is Finney Phineas Smith not real I'm sorry it's uh, this book is so good that's what I have to say this book is just so 
Like just, oh, I, I loved it. I loved it. Read it. Read it. Please. I loved it. It was so good. It was so amazing. Like, uh, I, don't, I, I loved it. I loved it. It was really good. It was amazing. Uh, like, it's just this. And the fact, also, like I said, I read it if you had been with me. I actually read it in reading Sarah Crowley's five star reads. I'll have that linked in the description below. But when I read if he had been with me, I remember going like I didn't love it. Like I loved it, but I love this book. And seeing how Autumn loved Finney. And then seeing how Finney loved Autumn. Just oh my god. Like, let me just read the back of this book, okay? Actually, yeah, we're gonna read the back of this book. For you, like, seriously, this, this quote right here, right there, right there, right there, this one says, if only I told her that I'd love her years ago, then I wouldn't be here. Yeah, you wouldn't have. You, if you guys, like, seriously, they confessed their love the night before Finney dies. Like, the night before he died. I'm like, oh my, why, why? And the fact, the fact that I read this and went through the pain so many times, like, I don't even want to explain it. Like, oh, I just loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Okay. So, and yeah. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good day wherever you are. And good. Bye. How is Finny not real?